unfortunately, I have something to kill time as I try to get everything else put together again. Yeah? Hey, okay, I'm seeing your chat comment. I didn't see theirs because it happened before I turned on the chat window. But this should actually be interesting to see how this all works out. I Yes, I am talking. We're almost there. I'm frantically typing things in for the slides. Do not panic. <laughs> yes, I can see the chat windows. This is amazing. Okay, I can't type back to the Facebook people, but that's okay. I can see the stuff, and that's a good sign. All right. Transition. There we go. Put that there. Make this part work here. Make sure that a camera actually recognizes me. One day I'll have a real web camera and I won't have to go through all that folder all. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Oh. I... <clears throat> and Wong, hi. Okay, it's working. I have a very loud keyboard. <laughs> I'm an angry sounding typist. I have a very old school mechanical switch keyboard. It looks pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to completely risk my technology by sh and see if I can show you this keyboard now. So this is going to be very weird looking, but we're going to do it. That's what it looks like right there. And when you type on it, uh, it's, it's, it gets very, very noisy. I will demonstrate. So you see, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, it does sound like I am, uh, it sounds like I'm assaulting. Oh, technology, there's our technical folder all. There we go, perfect. It ain't a Troubadour show without one technical mishap, and that would be it. Congratulations, you just watched the Troubadour action cam, and why it is that I'm trying to get me a real webcam. I can mount on a tripod that is stable, because the tripod this thing is on is not stable it's about as stable as many of our elected government officials so hi wee <laughs> yes i have a trackball mouse i'm an, i'm a big nerd i'm a very large nerd you've met me i'm you know i'm a big nerd so hi um oh my gosh we are now broadcasting on um uh, Restream.io, which is a free service. It has a free service where you can stream to like 30 different services at once. I'm currently streaming this show not only here on the Facebook, but also over there 
on the um well i'm really skewed off now also over there on the youtubes so theoretically for those of us who are planning to leave the book of the faces for uh, other pastures y'all can in fact get stable as a genius super genius by the way hi joseph nice to have you on board appreciate it i can actually see all your chats this is gorgeous hey michael and harmony are y'all seeing me on the did y'all put me up on the big tv again because i actually got a, a widget that allows me to throw signal from a windows computer up onto uh, the tv we've used it a few times we've abused it so in theory um what i will probably wind up doing is doing this show on facebook on my personal page because i can do that for free with restream and on youtube they don't record it so i have to record that too and on twitch yes finally tobias is going to twitch because i can and because it's it seems like a thing to do wow um one of the things you may have noticed here is that when I went live, I did not have the uh, usual stuff in the description on Facebook, and that's because I have to put that in after the fact if I'm going to use this multi-streaming thing. So, all right. Big monitor in the study. Oh, that's true. There's there's a little bit of a hang... There's hang time. We always have to contend with hang time here and there. Hey, y'all. Yes. Now, for those of you who've joining me for, for the first time, Wow neat um for those of you joining not joining me for the first time welcome back this is a cool thing i'm gonna play with the technology just a little bit more because i want to see if i can pull the chat out and put it over here and look at it and admire it look at that all that lovely you people are like interacting with each other this is so cool i am so happy with this and then Go back into Restream on the other screen and see if it shows me I have people! Yay! Fantastic. There we go. All right, cool. And I can actually see myself on my monitor here, so it's, it's working and that's good. Um, eventually I'll have this whole big thing sorted out, but this is very much of the making it up as we go along portion of our program. I can see how many people are streaming. This is really actually kind of awesome. That's okay. <laughs> We're all fine. I'm, I'm giddy about the technology on account of I'm a big geek. Let's do something. All right. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this filk. I wrote this filk several years ago. I know the chords to it. The opening lick is still kind of adversarial. Let's see if I can do it. Renaissance minstrel, minstrel, minstrel. I pray thee, my lord, will you hear this song? It took me years to write, but will not take too long. It is based on a sonnet by a man named Kit, and I need a patron, so I long to be a Renaissance minstrel. Renaissance minstrel. Is a noble saga of a wandering knight And his loving lady keeps him up at night His son's a lowly squire just slept in swords Tis a steady job, but he longs to be a renaissance minstrel Renaissance minstrel Renaissance minstrel Minstrel, minstrel A hundred verses, give or take a few I'll be writing more in a week or two I can make it Latin if you like the sounds And we'll do so some it And I long to be a renaissance minstrel Renaissance minstrel If you like the verses, I can sing it there I get so tired of wandering from fair to fair If you must return it, send it to the king He'll just put his name on it And call himself a renaissance minstrel Renaissance minstrel, Renaissance minstrel, minstrel, Renaissance minstrel, minstrel. Alas, my love, you do me wrong, minstrel. Renaissance minstrel, minstrel. <laughs> Yay! I did the lick. I 
am still fighting this lick um, because I'm not very good at this. And that should actually be in the uh, disclaimer crawl that happens across the bottom of the screen here. Yes, those do change because I get bored and I want the people who are watching me to not get bored. That's really the bottom line. That's, that's how I feel about it. Now, speaking of things that change, my friend, John, a.k.a. Quigley Finch, is an incredibly creative, talented, brilliant, slightly terrifying human being. By the way, if you're in the Bay Area, you can order a hamburger from the, ro ham from the Burger Robot folks. They have an entire robot system that makes hamburgers untouched by human hands. So much to the point where it actually delivers it in a bag to a chute to an airlock, which then opens up and the delivery guy pulls the bag out of the chute and then drives it to where you live. You could get that burger. You could get that burger. That would mean that Quigley would continue to have a job, and I'm okay with that plan. Um, I am just random at this moment, and that's okay. Random is good. It's It's been and continues to be a challenging series of days we're all kind of chugging along here doing our best but speaking of quickly he wrote the song captain's log i love the song captain's log i really really do and um i love it so much that i started playing it and then i discovered that i was singing it wrong it was known something there's a phenomenon known as uh creep <laughs> shift as it were that happens and um i based my performance on like the first two times i did it at steampunk november november so it's december january february march april may june eight months ago and so for the past eight months i've been singing the song the way i remember it which is not in fact entirely accurate which is annoying to me because I really should do it right. So I'm going to do Captain's Log again with the real lyrics. Most of the changes are slight, but I continue to try to do it right because I wanted to do this. Um, I, for one, welcome our new burger about overlords. You people are just so distracting. I for, Because I want to do the song proper respect and honor... Uh, John, a.k.a. Quigley Finch, who is a blindingly creative human being. And I like him a lot. And one day we will be in the same place again. God only knows what's going to happen. Oh, the name of the ship on which we sail is a jolly roving dog. The crew be bold and the bosun's old and we all do love a grog. The captain was the toughest man whatever sailed the seas. But then one thing finally laid him low, t'was a nasty French disease. Oh, we sailed the briny oceans on the jolly roving dog. And we will not rest upon our quest to find the captain's log. Oh, a year ago our captain died, old France had finally won. The first mate waited by his side for the setting of the sun. And the last words of the captain to the good crew of the dog was that no one could ever take his place till they found the captain's log. Oh, we sail the briny oceans on the jolly roving dog. And we will not rest upon our quest to find the captain's log. Oh, we down in the scuppers and we searched up in the nest. For a time we held our spirits high with witty words and jest. But soon a gloom surrounded us just like a pea soup fog. For no matter where we looked, we could not find the captain's log. Oh, we sailed the briny oceans on the jolly roving dog. 
and we will not rest upon our quest to find the captain's log. So at last we turn to the great big book that the captain took to sea, in which he kept each day's events as written history. But no matter could we find inside that vast and mighty tome any hint to where the captain's log had chosen for to roam. Oh, we sail the briny oceans on the jolly roving dog, and we will not rest upon our quest to find the captain's log. Oh, the many logs that we have found, they all do look the same. But we never have found the piece of wood inscribed with the captain's name. Oh, we sail the briny oceans on the jolly roving dog. And we will not rest upon our quest to find the captain's log. Oh, we sail the briny oceans on the jolly roving dog. And we will not rest upon our quest to find the captain's log. Woo! We survived! Oh, the ship doesn't have a commode. No, 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 the sailors go over the side. Except for the captain who goes in his head. His head is on the poop deck. That's just a thing. That's right. Yes, you see, Izzy has it correct. The, the head is in the front of the ship, and the poop deck is in the back. However, most sailors don't go to the head. They just go over the side. The captain, however, goes with his own head. He has his own head, and he goes on his own head. But his own head is actually in the poop deck in the stern, right where the mizzenmast is. And if you've ever wondered where the mizzenmast was, that is rising sternly out of the poop. They wonder why sailors are all a little crazy. <sighs> anyway! Hey! Oh my goodness! Y'all are just absolutely astonishing! I've got... we got all kinds of people in here! Jeez! I am so happy to see y'all! It justifies my behavior, and that's good. Because, let's be honest about this, if y'all weren't watching this... There'd be no reason for me to be doing this other than my own amusement, and... So y'all are like collateral entertainment. I like that a lot. I really appreciate it a great deal. Yes, I am going to be trying very hard, very hard, to get this pitched to a few shows once the math and the numbers are better. Probably 2021. I've already sent out proposals to Sherwood and Scarborough and um, a certain other festival, which is opening up even more stuff and having more stages I might try for that too we'll just see <sighs> yeah yikes hey everybody I love this this is fantastic <laughs> collateral entertainment is a name of a performing company it's a good name um, my first it's completely random fact and only about five people know this um, I did actually pitch a performing troupe to the Northern California Renaissance Pleasure Fair as my first ever thing to do at a fair. It was called Random Acts of Pageantry, which I still think is a fantastic name. But it didn't work out. I became a sea dog. And that's how, when it all went strangely wrong. All right, let's do a thing here. We're going to do another song. Say so, again? Yeah, I did make a lot of good friends, and I'm very happy about that. Let's do it. Speaking of songs you sing at a Renaissance Festival. Let me see if I can do this one properly. <laughs> I will admit I lifted some the concept for Random Acts of Pageantry from Random Acts of Comedy, which was another short-lived uh, comedy troupe from the golden age of Comedy Central actually playing stand-up comedy clips on their channel, like MTV used to play music clips on their channel. I'm old. All right. John. <laughs> Bear with me, folks. I'm recovering from my own stupid wit. John. There we go. Chord. 
Find the key. Let's go hunt for the key together, shall we? John Barleycorn to the sea's gone down in a ship both bold and new. The first is the lake of Captain Drake and all his loyal crew. To venture brave through wind and wave, the Spaniard for to halt. And though he die of Spanish grape, he'll live as English malt. So we'll strike him down and we'll bind him round and we'll serve him worse than that. We will grind his bones between two stones and we'll bung him in a vat. Then we'll drink his health in nut-brown ale and we'll raise our glasses high. For before that he can live again, John Barleycorn must die. John Barleycorn's to the court and gone, all dressed in fine array. In pewter clad from toe to head to win a lady gay. The poetry that he declaims will stand him in good stead. For the ladies there all do declare they love it more than bread. So we'll strike him down and we'll grind him round and we'll serve him worse than that. We will grind his bones between two stones and we'll bung him in a vat. Then we'll drink his health in nut brown ale and we'll raise our glasses high. For before that he can live again, John Barleycorn must die. John Barleycorn's to the hangman gone, this tale I will unfold. For Robin, loyal Englishmen of their silver and their gold. In a grave unmarked by cross or stone, John Barleycorn is lain. Till the summer rains have come and gone. And he rises up again. This is the part where it becomes, in my opinion, needlessly messianic. So we'll strike him down and we'll bind him round and we'll serve him worse than that. We will grind his bones between two stones and we'll bung him in a vat. Then we'll drink his health in nut brown ale and we'll raise our glasses high. For before that he can live again, John Barleycorn must die. So we'll strike him down and we'll serve him worse than that. We will grind his bones and we'll bung him in a vat. Then we'll drink his health in nut brown ale and we'll drain our glasses dry. For before that he can live again. John Barley Corn must die. Whew. I, I <laughs> Izzy, 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 Pills of White Mercury is a lovely song. And I do, I do uh, like that one a great deal. It's a good Victorian era. Actually, is it one of those crossover things? I don't know. I love the song. It was actually performed by the Stark Ravens back in the uh, Dickens Christmas Fair back when I was back in... The back of way back over there. That way is west. That way is west to uh, in California. Uh, don't kink shame John Barley Corn. <laughs> that may call for a t shirt or a button. I don't know. Don't kink shame John Barley Corn. Izzy, I missed you. West is that way, apparently. You're right. West is that way. And that way would be north. And that way would be south. And this would be the chair that I'm sitting in. And that's why I'm not the navigator. <laughs> yes, my lovely wife Amy is the granddaughter of a navigator. True story. Complicated things some days. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. I am enjoying the heck out of this, and I hope you're enjoying it, too. Let's do... There's one more song, and I was trying to figure out how to put the set together. And I like doing things that are... Uh, <laughs> think about direction. I wonder why you have them before. I have frequently. Um, all right, one more story, and then we'll get on to the actual show. When we first moved to San... and To San... The San Francisco Bay Area. Wow, we've been a lot of, in a lot of sands. Um... This was long before the days of GPS, long before the days of smartphones. So we had maps. And um, in the Texas area, it was called Mapsco, big old spiral bound, you could stun a dog with it kind of thing. And you would look up the street in the index and then you would flip around to pages and you'd try to follow pages from one to the other. And in the event that the next 
part of that map was not on the opposite page, God help you as you flipped wildly while trying to steer, or your navigator slowly went through a mental collapse. Um, the West Coast version of that is the Thomas Brothers Guide, and we had one, and we were trying to visit my lovely wife's aunt who lives in San Jose, and we lived in Albany just north of Berkeley. And we were very new to the area, and we kind of studied the maps, but not so much, and it got kind of hard, especially this was right after the earthquake, so the freeways were a complete and utter mess. So we were wandering around aimlessly trying to find uh, her auntie's place, and we began to sing the song, Do you know the way to San Jose? No, apparently not. Do we need to stop and make a phone call? Because this was also before cell phones. We're that old. We really are. Oh, see, these are the kind of weird tangents that happen in these shows. Thankfully, this is not an official Renaissance Fair show where I would have to, like, limit all of my tangential um, anecdotes to Renaissance Fair stuff. This is the Troubadour Show. Geeky, nerdy, goofy songs for geeky, nerdy, goofy people. Or just rephrase them. Or just rephrase them. That's true. I could kind of rephrase them, and that was actually a, a wonderful intellectual exercise for fair people is to take modern stuff and put it into renaissance fair terms and then yammer about it endlessly as you watch the patron's eyes glaze over but that was usually their eyes glazing over because you were you were speaking about something and it wasn't an explosion or cleavage but that's beside the point so i put this set together and i try to put together sets that i haven't done songs that i haven't done recently i try to do at least not do the same songs like twice in a week and this one I had the first one, Renaissance Minstrel. I had the second, I had the last one, and I kind of filled in the middle. When I hit John Barleycorn, I knew it darn well that I needed to do this next song as a closer for this show. And it is, speaking of Victorian music hall songs, that's right, Izzy, it is Boozin' Bloody Well Boozin', <clears throat> which is done, as I say in my notes here, my way in D. It's another song in D, gang. That's D? That's D. This is not D. That is. Make a note. Mark you well, I am an ass. Now, what are the joys of a single young man? Why booze and bloody well booze And what is he doing whenever he can? Why booze and bloody well booze You may think I'm wrong and you may think I'm right. I don't want to argue. I know you can fight. Just not in the face, all right? But what do you think we'll be doing tonight? Why booze and bloody well booze and hey hey booze and booze and just you and I booze and booze and when we are dry. Am I behind the, behind the sign? I can't tell. Some do it openly, some on the sly, but we all love bloody well boozing. And what are the joys of the laboring man? Why booze and bloody well boozing? And what is he doing whenever he can? Why booze and bloody well boozing? He goes out a job and makes many a call, comes home every night. And he gives his wife all. But what brings him home hanging onto the wall? Why booze and bloody well booze and hey, hey, booze and booze and just you and I, booze and booze and when we are. Dry. I really wish I had people to harmonize with on this. Some do it openly, some on the sly, but we all love bloody well boozing. And what does a temperance union abhor? Why booze and bloody well boozing? Does the temperance union deplore? Why booze and bloody well booze and they stand on street corners, they rail and they shout, they shout about things they know nothing about. Ta! But what do 
they do when the lights have gone out? Why booze and bloody well booze and hey hey booze and booze and just you and I booze and booze and when we are dry. Some on the sly, but we all are bloody well boozing, 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 just you and I, boozing, boozing, when we are dry. I just made that up. Some do it openly, some on the sly, but we all are bloody well boozing. Yes, and so we have come sliding in sideways on yet another completely unjustified Troubadour show. I have been Tobias the Adequate, and I hope that you have been entertained by all of this nonsense. (sighs) Because this is show number 40... I have to check my notes. I know which one it is. I wrote it down. 48! 48! 48 shows? How the heck do I keep doing it? This is show number 48 in an ongoing series of semi-daily, semi-regularly, semi-I-don't-have-to-drive-home-so-I-will-just-do-this-instead uh, Troubadour shows. We will keep doing this until normality is restored, which is just as soon as anybody can figure out what's normal to begin with, and then we will turn this into more of a weekly thing, and we'll sort that out, and I'll either do it live, or I'll record it, or I'll start doing fairs again, and then y'all won't be able to get away from me, so that's how that all works out. Uh, thank you for coming along with me. Let's go through the ad stuff. Uh, you can, of course, always drop a couple of bucks in the tip jar at paypal.me slash theadequate or ko-fi.com slash theadequate. Uh, Robert and Rick and Emily and Miranda all lost their tiny minds and threw some cash at me. That goes towards better equipment, software. I actually spent some money, some of the tip jar money on a program that pulls out the chords from MP3 files called Cordy, Cordify, Cordy, Cordy, something like that. Chord chooser, chord finder, chord finder, that's what it is. I would have notes, but that would require organization. Um, And that is where all that goes to. Um, Along with, of course, you too could support Adequacy in Your Lifetime by going to patreon.com slash theadequate as BK and Richard and Kaylee and Relly and Alicia and Brian and John and Lorene all have done. The number of crazy people out there is just amazing. Once again, this just goes directly back into the show. Um, I ordered a webcam, a Logitech webcam, and we're going to try that out probably next week. We're trying out this restreaming thing, and hopefully the pro- the quality's been pretty decent. Uh, please feel free to make some notes in the comments to let me know if it's not coming through well or if you're getting little jittery things or if, if it looks like my face is made up of a series of b- dots that someone kind of pounced on with a, a makeup brush. Because we're literally learning this as we go along. Uh, I started doing this specifically to kill some time. And it's become a habit. And it's become a practice. And it's actually become a lot of fun. And it's also getting me the flight hours for performing live in front of other people. And I really look forward to doing that at some point. Uh, You can find the recorded stuff I do over here at SoundCloud.com slash Matthew Dash Laguerre. I am working on recording more stuff. I will actually be putting the studio album version... Of Do You Know My Friend From Fair up there. It actually went out on the Patreon site uh, about a week ago. And that's a preview of the Patreon stuff, because Patreon patrons get this stuff inflicted on them early. Uh, you will also be able to find some other things, including stuff I made when I was insane and just had Garage Band. Um, the uh, blues song, I Got No Pants, is me, Garage Band, and a cigar box guitar and multi tracking. It is a traditional blues tune because it does involve that one guy in the back of the club going, Yeah! So there you are. You can find all the old shows at facebook.com slash Tobias the Adequate. A slightly more delayed archive is at youtube.com slash M-P-L-E-G-A-R-E under the Troubadour playlist. 
Um, I need to get those uploaded. This week has been a little wacky, so I have not gotten them uploaded yet. I will probably do like a double dose and get all the shows from last week and this week uploaded this Friday or over the weekend. I promise I will get that up there. I do promise this is important stuff. I like to try to be complete about this. I've been generating content for so bloody long. It's a habit now. Uh, Carpe Diem Comics is the official emotional support comic shop of Tobias the Adequate, the Troubadour Show, Artisanal Gibberish, anything else I can come up with to do. You can find them in McKinney, Texas, or at Carpe Diem Comics online.square.site. This is also a reminder to support your local comic shops, your local craft stores, your local gaming stores, because without you, they're just a big room with a bunch of stuff in it. Remember that. So, this is two channels, YouTubes and Facebooks. Um, I will probably continue to do this for a while. I have no idea if we're going to get anybody watching on any other channel other than Facebook because for the most part, it's y'all paying attention to me on Facebook that got me to where I am. Sitting in a room, yammering into a camera. And uh, so we'll see. I have been told uh, that I should get on Twitch and I have actually made a Twitch account. I might start doing Twitch stuff too just because it's broadening the whole thing again. Um... I really do appreciate it, though. I appreciate your time and the time that you spend with me, because without you here, uh, this is basically what I used to do when I was a little, when I was yeah, a preteen, and I got my dad's old reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, true story, and I used to pretend to be a radio station DJ, and I would play my little 45 RPMs and my big albums that I borrowed or stole from my parents, and I would record the tracks onto the deck, and I would be a DJ speaking into a microphone in between the songs, just weirdness. TikTok, I worry about TikTok in so many ways. I tried getting on TikTok, it didn't like me. So, maybe I'll try getting on TikTok again, we shall see. Y'all have been magnificent and wonderful as always. I have been Tobias the Adequate, and I want to thank you all for encouraging my behavior. And we'll do what has now become the traditional MST3K fade out, in which I say something clever, or pithy, or at least mildly interesting. And one of these days, I will actually succeed in doing so. But until I do, y'all take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.